Yeah, here he comes, facing her, walking straight to you. There he is. You got him. You got him. <laughs> He's coming at you. Hang on, I'm on him. He's down. He's down. Uh, that was a shot that I made on an Oklahoma buck on one of the shows just a few weeks ago. Uh, it doesn't matter how far it was, it was a long ways. You saw what happened, one shot, center punched him, ran 30, 40 yards, did the back flip, hunt was over. I made that shot for one reason, because I knew I was gonna make that shot. Before you ever climb up in your tree stand or get in your ground blind, before you ever set foot in the woods, the issue has to already be settled. You gotta know, that you can make that shot. It's a thing called confidence. And without it, you don't have any business shooting at anything, anywhere, anytime. Number one, know your rifle's limitations. Here's a list of the most common calibers that are being used that from zero to 300 yards, you put the crosshairs on them, pull the trigger, and the deer is going down. Zero your rifle to be hitting two inches high at 100 yards and shoot average recommended bullet weights with each of the calibers. If you own one of these rifles, the deer you shoot at from zero to 300 yards should be a goner. Confidence begins at the shooting range. Shoot your rifle in and get as close to groups as you can at 100 yards. Go ahead and shoot 150, 200, 300 yards and so forth. But before the hunt, go to the range and don't take standard targets. Take a pie plate. You hit the pie plate, you just got your deer. I was in a deer camp in Alberta about 10 years ago. Uh, the outfitter required that everyone had to shoot their rifle before the hunt. It, it was a good rule because everybody flew in. Uh, crossover day was always on Sunday. No Sunday hunting in Canada. Then your hunt begins on Monday. Sunday afternoon, 3.30 kind of starting to get dark, really cold. I walked out where everybody was shooting to shoot my gun and my jaw dropped. There were four or five benches, the benches were full and everybody sitting on them was panicked. There were guys had the caps off the scopes trying to qu tweak their rifles in. One guy, I thought he was gonna cry, I guarantee you. And he was shooting about softball size, you know. You know. And I, th I thought, holy cow, what in the world's going on? And I looked over and God was standing there and I looked across the street and there was a diner. I said, hey, I said, you better run over at that diner and see if they'll give you some pie plates. I said, are you gonna send out a whole group of guys in the morning that have no confidence in their shooting? He did it, he ran over there and came back. We run out there and put the pie plates up and the guy that was struggling the most shot four times, 200 yards, he hit the plate every time and I screamed, woo, good shooting. You got him, buddy, you're ready to go. He just smiled and got up, zipped, put, put his, you know, zipped his gun up and his thing, went back to his room. The next morning, he shot a whopper at 320 yards. <laughs> I went over to him, I said, you realize that was over 300 yards? He goes, you kid, I didn't know it was that far. You gotta have confidence first. That's where it all began. If you'd like to send me an email, send it to Roger Raglan at rogerraglan.com. And check us out on Facebook, Camo Space, and Twitter.